Ladies and gentlemen, the Ballon d'Or 2024. Who is the goddamn winner? And I know that's a question that's on your mind. Because let's be honest, this year, <laughs> No clue on who the goddamn winner is. <laughs> I made a list, ladies and gentlemen, of every potential player that is going to win the Ballon d'Or this year. But Listen, straight up, between me and you, I'm no goddamn bullshitter, right? I know who will win. I know who's most likely to win. It's not about stats. I mean, we have seen year after year after year by Lionel Messi stealing all the Ballon d'Ors. <laughs> it was never about stats. So keep your head out of the gutter, you stat geeks. <gasps> Uh, 55G uh, slash A uh, goals assist ratio and <laughs> first on the list we have like what is brought <laughs> seven games nine go why am I even looking at stats <laughs> he's not winning the ball on the literally at this point retired it's over Lionel Messi's story is over that's it enough of this brother winning the ball <laughs> Los Angeles that's, isn't that like Hollywood and LA, right? LA or Hollywood and all the big movies come up and Messi scored against them? Everybody is standing ovation for Lionel Messi. I mean, if he wins the Copa America, that's our clear winner. I mean, <laughs> you see the acting and the sequence I did right now? Well, that's how everyone reacts. Every journalist reacts. Everyone who votes reacts to Lionel Messi, literally doing the simplest things. <laughs> Lionel Messi, I mean, can you put him in the Chelsea section? I mean, Chelsea section is basically no, no, no goddamn way that they're winning anything. <laughs> Actually, we should change it up. I mean, even though Lionel Messi has <laughs> nine goals, <laughs> I mean, it's still Lionel Messi, let's be. <laughs> Even when he's retired, he's still in the close section. <laughs> okay, let's be serious for once. Next on the list is Ritz from Bayer Leverkusen. To sum it up, it's like Tottenham Hotspurs winning the league title. Bayer Leverkusen, the team he is playing in, is like Tottenham Hotspurs. <laughs> finally, in their club history, they won a league title. An unknown you know, small team finally won the league title. And their best player is called Ritz. So he had 17 goals, 19 assists, and 44 matches right here. He is the most assisted player in this season in all of Europe, which is insane. You know, away from the topic, right? But I'm looking at these stats, right? 44 games, 19 assists, 45 matches, 17 assists. Kevin De Bruyne! <laughs> Show, this just shows how insane Kevin De Bruyne is and how underrated he is. Uh, as a Manchester United fan, I'm saying this. 16 assists in 21 matches. He did not play half of the goddamn season. But anyways, if you're not aware of the game of Ritz that he plays and the things he brings to the team, look at this goddamn dribbling man. Look at this brother, he is insane. He's genuinely insane. More clips of this brother, man. Look at the goals he scores, man. Number 10 and doing the chip like Lionel Messi does, man. Now look at this clip right here. Look at this goal, he chips it from there. Oh my god, that was goddamn beautiful. Even the video stopped working right there, but genuinely insane. Look at these clips, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Oh. And we're stuck with goddamn Anthony, man. <laughs> Reds to Manchester United, here we... Oh, no, no, let's let's not end another career. Let's not do... <laughs> Reds, you might be amazing, right? You might be a Ballon d'Or contender if journalists were, weren't were the ones that, you know, vote for Lionel Messi. And <laughs> if awards shows were actually fair, you might be in the top five, maybe. But brother, you play for Leverkusen, an uh, unknown team. I'm sorry, before the season, they were literally unknown. You might have the same stats as Jude Bellingham, but I'm really sorry. There is no way you are winning this Ballon d'Or trophy. I told you I'll be honest with you guys. Full honest. I know how our show works. This brother is not even touching the top three spot. Next on the list, Harry McKenzie Kane. Mackenzie is not his middle name, I know, I just made that up. <laughs> I mean, it's Harry goddamn Kane, right? I mean, this picture alone... <laughs> 43 goals and his ex-team, Little Hall Attack, <laughs> has 42 goals. <laughs> and look at this, another stats, man. I know I'm being a stats geek right here, but... <laughs> 
You have to be a stats geek sometimes. <laughs> Harry Kane, 43 games, 43 goals, and 11 goddamn assists. Mbappe right here has 44 games, 43 goals, and 10 assists. They're literally identical. Harry Kane, 43 goals, 11 assists. Uh, in my opinion, the closest we have seen to the Ronaldo and Messi era back in the day. You also need to consider that he's playing in a terrible Bayern Munich team. He has been carrying Bayern Munich. Euros is out of the equation here, but if he wins the Champions League this season with that Bayern Munich team carrying Bayern Munich to victory, he has to be the goddamn winner. If Real Madrid wins the Champions League, then the winner here would be different. If Harry Kane wins the Euros and does not win the Champions League, and let's say Jude Bellingham gets the Champions League, if it was Lionel Messi instead of Harry Kane, they would have gave the Ballon d'Or to Harry Kane, even though Harry Kane only won the Euros. But let's say if Vinicius Jr. only wins the Champions League, they will give the Ballon d'Or to Vinicius Jr. and not Harry Kane. <laughs> do you get what I mean? Because that's literally what happened last season. Harry Kane, I really do apologize, but your team doesn't have enough goddamn, what do I say it, enough media PR than Real Madrid. So you will not be winning the Ballon d'Or, unless you win the Champions League, then you 100% are going to win. But if you don't win any trophies this season, next on the list we have Vinicius Jr., the Brazilian Real Madrid player. Vinicius Jr. has 21 goals, 11 assists, and 34 games. Now his stats is very close to his teammate, which is Jude Bellingham as well. And if Jude Bellingham wins the Champions League and the Euros. I would give it to Jude Bellingham. But a more deserving player to win the Ballon d'Or is Vinicius Jr. in my opinion. In the Champions League he has been performing. Big games he performed. But let's be completely honest here. If Real Madrid wins the Champions League, right? And it's between Vinicius and Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham is going to win. Why? Well, first of all, Jude Bellingham is just more loved by the media. Second of all, Jude Bellingham has been getting Ballon d'Or shouts. And the media has been hyping him up since the beginning of the season. This is the most BS goddamn probability chart I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'll go through it. Because Vinicius Jr. not being here and Haaland being here, first of all. And why is Harry Kane only at 14% <laughs> when literally Mbappe and Harry Kane literally have the same exact stats? In my opinion, if Real Madrid won the Champions League, this guy should be the winner. If Jude Bellingham won the Champions League and the Euros, Jude Bellingham should be the winner. But if only both of them won the Champions League and that's it, in my opinion, the most deserving one is Vinicius. But who I think is going to win because I know the media <laughs> is going to be Jude Bellingham. Next up, <laughs> we have Kylian Mbappe. I mean, Kylian Mbappe. I mean, we all know who Kylian Mbappe is. We all know what he brings to the table. And we all know that his 99% of his goals is literally like this. I'm showing you on the screen. There is another beautiful clip that Kylian Mbappe did. Look at this right here. Oof. What a goddamn assist to Dembele right there. What? If Mbappe wins the Champions League, Mbappe 100%, just like Harry Kane, deserves to win the Ballon d'Or. But if he does not win the Champions League, ladies and gentlemen, is he still going to win it? Is it deserving? Yes, in my opinion. Same thing like I said to Harry Kane. I think these two players deserve the Ballon d'Or. And they should win the Ballon d'Or. But we know the media. We know. <laughs> Cole Palmer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you sat here and told me that Cole Palmer would be a goddamn Ballon d'Or contender in the start of the season. I would have thought you're just a goddamn Chelsea fan who's just deluded. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, 25 goals, 13 goddamn assists. That's literally a better ratio than Jude Bellingham for all the ratio geeks out there. <laughs> I mean, compared to every single player on this list, he plays in a far, far, far worse team than all of them. Messi included, Inter Miami included. <laughs> Cole Palmer has amazing stats. Cole Palmer has been amazing. And Cole Palmer 
let's be honest he's never but call Palma I'm so sorry you play for Chelsea unfortunately if you are in Real Madrid you would have been in the winner section over Jude Bellingham believe it or not but <laughs> I'm so sorry you're just an average looking British guy and <laughs> There's no way you're winning that goddamn Ballon d'Or unless you go and score 60-70 goals. I mean, you still probably wouldn't win it then. Phil Foden. Amazing goddamn play. That's geek! I know you're geeking right now. 24 games... Uh, sorry, 24 goals and 10 assists for Phil Foden. Phil Foden with the absence of Kevin De Bruyne and Erling Haaland just being typical Erling Haaland in the Champions League nights, ghosting every game. Phil Foden has been carrying Manchester City lately look at these type of goals that he scores and just take a look at this oh my god how many games is this oh my Phil Foden unfortunately for you again you're just an average British guy <laughs> you're you don't have the Champions League most likely you will not win the Premier League if Arsenal wins it if you win the Premier League you might be here but as of right now you're not Anywhere near the close or the winner. Erling Haaland, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, safe to say, if Erling Haaland did not win last year's Ballon d'Or, which he should have won. I'm sorry, Erling Haaland, but the treble wasn't enough for you to win it. And this season, you're not winning the treble. Um, I really do apologize. Last up, we have Anthony Dos Santos. And as a Manchester United fan, first of all, so proud. For Anthony Dos Santos to even make it to the Ballon d'Or contest. <laughs> no, I did not make this list, first of all. <laughs> Unlike every single player on this list, Anthony broke a record in the football world. And that is scoring his first Premier League goal this season. And celebrating with goddamn Sonic. No player in history of football has celebrated with goddamn Sonic. I'm sorry, is Jude Bellingham celebrating like Sonic? I don't think so. <laughs> and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's your Ballon d'Or list. And after the Ballon d'Or ceremony, you can come back and thank me and say, oh, you were right. Maybe I should subscribe and you should subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think in the comment section below? What do you guys think? think of everything i said or what do you guys think is the official list and yeah thank you guys so much for watching like the video subscribe notifications on and comment down gracias